Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, a little something different from Michael's fish room. I'm not even in the fish room. This is my kitchen, and uh, I have one planted tank. It's a 55-gallon. It's got about four angels, a bunch of black phantom tetras, a couple of albino quarries, maybe six, as well as uh, a lemon pleco and I think a rubber lip pleco. Anyway, it's a disaster as usual. The water level is low, so I'm gonna do some maintenance on it and I'm gonna film it and hopefully you guys like it. And if you don't, too bad. I mean, not really too bad, but you know what I mean. Anyway, before I get started, do me a favor, go ahead and obliterate the subscription button. Gently, boop, the notification bell. And of course, when we're done, you know to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Stand by, maintenance coming up. Snack and a beverage, you know the deal. All right, fishy folks. You can see the water level is quite low. I don't know the last time I topped it up or changed it. Uh, the tank itself is a general disaster in that uh, all the plants are overgrown. The Java moss that got stuck in there early on, I haven't really taken care of. I've got a floating plant. I've got a, a sponge filter that, this is how bad I am. That sponge filter, that one right there was supposed to go in an outdoor tub in May. It's now December. <laughs> so yeah, I just left it. So I'm going to uh, try to clean up the the, water, the weeds. I'm gonna clean the glass up top, fill it up, maybe do a quick rescape. When I say rescape, I mean just try to make it look better. So I'm gonna film that and uh, you guys enjoy. I'm gonna try not to get in the way, but I doubt that's gonna happen, so. First thing we do, take the lids off. I found a fork. Well, still a disaster, gotta plant some stuff still. Pardon the dog, that's Indy. And uh, we're gonna let the water settle. I should probably get a gravel vac and clean up some of this detritus in here that was stuck in the weed. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get the gravel vac and probably another five-gallon bucket. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. Let's try not to swallow some water. Put a towel down so I can spill everything. Not everything, but you know, when you take the hose out, there's water still in the hose. Yeah, put the towel down. I'm gonna go dump it. Where you may say? In the toilet. The next bucket I'll probably save and water the Christmas tree. about it for water. I'm gonna go uh, put this near the Christmas tree. Out of the dog's reach. Fill her up and see what she looks like. So do me a favor. All right, fishy folks. I'm gonna add a box filter. And I'm gonna clean the sponge filters. I'm also gonna put a hang on back uh, to help with some of the dust and stuff to clean that up quicker so stand by all right fishy folks we're refilling thank you indy indy's probably protecting us from the boogeyman outside stand by all right fishy folks we're refilling so what i have here is um just a small hose connected to a small pump i bought probably on sale on clearance probably around this time of year at home depot or lowe's when they're trying to get rid of stuff and I have water going into a five gallon bucket. The pump is in the bucket and it's being pumped into here, into the tank. Now, you may be saying to yourself, but, but Mike, this isn't from your auto water change system and this water has chlorine in it. Yes, it does, but I've already dosed the tank with Seachem Safe. You 
may be saying to yourself, why do you have safe if you only have one tank down on the auto water change system? Before I had the auto water change system, I used to have to dose the tub of water and I would use Seachem Safe because it was the most economical. Now, there's still quite a bit of detritus on the bottom here and I don't really want to gravel back anymore. Um, so I'm going to use a hang on back filter like I do in the basement uh, to clean that up a little bit. I'll probably run it for a day, see how it looks and then um, re-evaluate the situation. Right now I am going to take out a sponge filter, clean it up and put it back. You can watch if you want, but it's not going to be fun. So. Here we go. This sponge is really bad, boys and girls. I'm actually going to have to dump this water out to clean it for one sponge. That's what happens when you're lazy. Stand by. All right, Fisher folks, this was really bad. It's still not perfect, but it's way better. I'm going to put it back because I don't really want to uh, disturb the cycle any more than I have already have. Plus, because it's a show tank, I'm trying to keep it, trying to make it look nice for company on Christmas, obviously. So, we'll put it back in the tank like this. Hopefully, everything will look good. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, got a new product here from my aquarium box. Greg gave me one uh, at the aquatic experience and I never used it. And he sent me one when I bought Pleco Caves from him. So now's a good time of, the best time as any to try it. So there, there are gloves that you put on and clean algae with, clean the glass. So it's basically, a sponge on your hand. I guess we'll see how it works. Stand by. Works great, actually. I'm very surprised. You want to get your hands dirty? This is a good way to do it. I want to do this in Chewy's tank. Not even for a hundred bucks. Two hundred maybe, but that's it. Alright. I guess we take the glove off. Clean out. Fix the fingers and hang dry. That's what I'm going to do, folks. Alright, we're almost, almost there. Almost full. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. We're pretty much done. We'll let the tank settle for a little bit. Uh, I do have it filled up just about to the top. I still have to clean the lids. That's not going to make much of a difference from how it looks. So, still quite cloudy. There's a little bit more room now for the the angels and the uh, black phantom uh, tetras to swim. Uh, I did take out at least two mic sized clumps of java moss, which I put downstairs. There were some other floating plants I took out that weren't supposed to be floating, uh, and I just moved them downstairs. So again, I don't know a whole lot about plants. Um, so I hope everything turns out okay. I don't dose any fertilizers in this tank. I used to dose Easy Green, but when I ran out, I never bought more. Um, I do have a ginormous jug of something from Seachem that Lisa from Super Sickles gave me. It came and it was leaking and 
she gave it to me and uh, I gotta check what that is so I can use it but as always check out supersickles.com michaelsfisher.com I'll be back to show you the final product actually after the dust settles so because this is pretty much the final product so it's not gonna get much better than this don't get your hopes up or anything stand by all right fishy folks it's been about an hour everything's kind of settled down it's pretty clear um, you can see through which is nice because it's in between a family room and the kitchen so um, I'll probably go in there tonight and maybe do one more quick little little tidy up um, just to get some of the, the dirty or dusty looking plants cleaner um, I don't normally care so much but you know I do have coffee coming over so I do kind of want to make it look as nice as possible anyway I hope everyone has a fantastic Christmas and I will see you guys soon michaelsfisher.com Merry Christmas There were some other floating plants, floating plants.